What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with TCL Tab 10 5G tips and tricks and hidden features. So stay tuned if you want to learn how to get the most out of your device. Now with the TCL Tab 10 5G, we have a very large 10.1 inch display. Now this comes in handy for a variety of different reasons, whether that's watching video content, looking at an ebook, reading an article, or going on social media. All those various things are great on such a large panel like this. Now to make this display even more useful, there are a variety of different customizations that you can make that I want to show you right now. Now to get to this, you're going to go over to the settings. Then from there, you'll see two options related to the display. There's display and then also next vision. Now first, I'll show you next vision. So we'll go here and you can see that many of these options already are enabled by default, such as image enhancement, video enhancement, and then also game enhancement. However, there's a few other ones here that I definitely think can come in handy. The first one is called reading mode. So you can see here with reading mode, it'll optimize the screen display to make the reading experience as comfortable as physical books. So let's enable that and see what happens. And you can see immediately the look of the display changes. In fact, there's no actual color here with the display. So it is very similar to reading a page out of a book. Now, if we head over to an article, you can see that by being in this reading mode, it definitely makes things look a lot more natural. So definitely a feature that I do recommend enabling if you do plan on reading books and articles on this device. Now heading back over here, we also have another useful option. This is called eye comfort mode. So it'll filter out blue light and adjust color temperature of your display to reduce eye strain. So this especially I can see coming in handy later in the day as you're getting further into the evening. And by enabling that, it just kind of tones things down a little bit with the display here, just to make it a little bit easier on your eyes. And then we also have sunlight display mode, but that is already enabled by default. But essentially with that, it will increase readability under sunlight. And then the final option here is screen color. So color mode and temperature. We'll go over to here and you can see that we have several different options. So vivid is the default option, but there's also natural and advanced as well. And then under advanced, we have a lot of customizations here. So I definitely recommend trying out all these various options to see what you really prefer the most. Then from there, we can head back to the main settings area and then go over to display. And some of these are redundant with what I already showed you. For example, there is eye comfort mode here as well. However, you do have the ability to set a schedule for that and you can further adjust how you want eye comfort mode to look. So that's really cool. We also have the ability to adjust how quickly you want the device to go to sleep. So you can see that we have ranges from 15 seconds to never. And I believe by default it's at 30 seconds. I set it to 30 minutes because that makes it a lot easier when making videos about the tablet. But I definitely recommend customizing this as well to your liking. Another option here too is font size. So you can make the font size larger if you want to or even smaller. So if you're finding it a bit difficult to read things on the display, I definitely recommend increasing the font size. And then you'll see here, we also have an option for status bar. So by going there, there's a couple of different options. The first one is show network speed. So if you enable that, it will show in the upper right corner, the speed of the network, which is kind of interesting. It'll only show network speed data if you're actually using the network at that time, but kind of an interesting feature to have. We also have battery percentage. So by default, the battery percentage is located in the actual battery icon itself. However, if you want to, you can have no battery percentage at all. So you can see by doing that, there is no percentage. Or if you want to, you can have the percentage be next to the battery icon instead. That kind of does make things a little bit easier to read there. So it really comes down to your personal preference, but it is cool that you can customize that. And then finally, we do have notifications icons folder. Now, I don't think this is really that useful, but if you're tired of seeing a bunch of different notification icons up top here, you can have that all be consolidated into just one icon. Then from here, heading back to the main settings page, we can go over to home screen and lock screen settings. So by going there, I'm not going to show you everything, but you do have the ability to change your wallpaper. Also, you can pick the theme for the device. So this is the default theme right here. You can see there's also a square style, also a freestyle, whatever that means. But I recommend trying out some different themes to see what you prefer here. There's also home settings. So you can further customize the home screen on the device. If you want to get rid of the app drawer, you do not have to have one but I recommend keeping it because I feel like that's a useful feature. You can also pick 
the home screen grid style. So if you want less icons on your grid or more, you can adjust that. This one's pretty interesting, a lock screen message. So let me type something in here. Whoops. Kevin Breeze Tab, whoop, can't type that many letters apparently. Okay, well there's my name. I'll go to save. And then let's now go to the lock screen and see what's there. Wow, and there's my name right there. So that's pretty cool. Now with this device, we do have a very large 8,000 milliamp hour internal battery, but I will show you how to enable battery saver right now. Now the first thing is, if you do pull down the shade here, there is a quick toggle for battery saver, so you can easily get to that from here. But let me show you how you can find more settings related to it. So go to search, type in battery, and then from here, just go to battery under battery. And then you'll see some different options. There's another way here to get to the battery percentage customization, which I already showed you. You can also see your battery usage in more detail. And then right here, we do have battery saver. So by going there, you can see we have some different options. First thing is, if you want to set a schedule for battery saver, you can do that. Now overall, I only recommend using battery saver if you really do need to save your battery. I wouldn't keep that enabled at all times because it will limit the performance of the tablet, but we'll enable it right now. And by enabling that, it does cut out a lot of different background tasks with the tablet. And then you can see here too that when the tablet is back up to 90% charge, it will then turn battery saver off. So definitely useful feature if you find yourself running low on battery power with the device, but at the same time, you don't see yourself finding an outlet anytime soon to recharge it. Now the next thing I wanna show you is how to take a screenshot with the TCL Tab 10 5G. Now there are actually three different methods that I wanna show you here. The first method is pretty straightforward. You just hold the power button down and volume down for about a second here. There we go, it took the screenshot. Then from there you can share it or delete it, which is pretty cool. Now the other screenshot options are under the gesture settings. So go to settings, type in gestures, and you'll see it right there. And then go to gestures, and then you'll see that one of them's enabled already, and then another is not. So three finger screenshot, so swipe down with three fingers simultaneously to take a screenshot. There we go, quickly took a screenshot, and you have the same options to share it or delete it. And then we also have three finger regional screenshot. So pinch with three fingers to take a regional screenshot. Let's try that. Wow, and that's really convenient. I just had to pinch in, and then from there, you can pick what region of the display you want to have a screenshot taken of. And then when you pick that region, you just tap on this check mark there, and it does take the screenshot. Now also in this gesture settings area, we have some other options too. So you can see this one is flipped to mute. So if you flip the device, it will mute it. So for example, it will snooze the alarm. So that is already enabled by default. And essentially, if you flip the tablet down like that, it will then put it in that silent mode. And then the next thing I want to show you is double tap to wake. This is a really awesome feature, and I think they definitely should have had this enabled by default already, but once that's enabled, when the display is off, you just double tap, and it wakes up the display. There's also a really handy lock button on the home screen here, and essentially, if you tap on that button, it will turn off the display. So let's do that right now. There we go. And then we can easily re-enter the device if we want to. Now with the TCL Tab 10 5G, we do have the traditional three-button Android navigation enabled here by default. However, we do have the ability to customize this. So let me show you how to do that. So go to the settings, then go to search, type in nav, and you'll see right there system navigation, go there, and you'll see that we do indeed have the three button navigation already enabled, but by going there then, we have some different options to customize that. The first thing is, if you wanna swap the back and recent apps buttons around, you can easily do that. So now we have the back button on the right side and recent apps button on the left side. You can also go over to gesture navigation instead. So that gets rid of the three buttons on the bottom here. And instead we just have this one small line. You swipe up to go home, swipe partially up to go to your recent apps, and then swipe from the side to go back. Another awesome thing I wanna show you is what happens when you double press on the power button. And by doing that, it'll pull up the camera. So let's give that a try. And you can see, just by double pressing on the power button, it does indeed pull up the camera app. And it doesn't matter where you are, 
throughout the operating system. By doing that, it easily takes you over to the camera. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to do pop-up window and split screen with this tablet. So to do this, you're going to go to your recent apps, and then let's say we want to have Chrome pop out into its own window. All you have to do is go to that recent apps button once again, hover over the app that you want to have pop out, and then just go to this button right here, and we now have a little window for this app on top of everything else here. So you can move that to wherever you want. You can also make other adjustments, such as having it fold into the corner here. So you can have a little mini icon that you can easily reaccess. And then to bring it back to full size, go to this button right here, and it'll bring it back to normal. But in addition to that, we also have the ability to do split screen. So let's say we want to have Google Chrome on one half and then YouTube on the other half. So we'll also go to the recent apps button. I've got the two apps right here. We're going to then go to this button in the upper left corner. And then we have the first app up top here. And then we can choose out of all of our apps, what we want to have is the other app. So I'll pick YouTube and you can see up top here, we have the web browser. And then down here, we do have the video here. And then from here, you have the ability to swap them around if you want to. You can also adjust the split too, assuming that the app that you're using allows you to. And then if you want to have one of them take over completely, just drag one of the apps up or down. And then now we're back to kind of the normal mode here. But this concludes my video on tips, tricks, and hidden features for the TCL Tab 10 5G. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. And if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. But this is Kevin here, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and have a great rest of your day.